All right, something else we need to talk about though. All right, um, so I didn't talk about this because I didn't really see too much of a point to talk about it. Um, but hey, uh, it, it, any any way that we can bring up a new player, I, I think it's a good a good segue. Uh, so here we go. The Spurs are signing Julian Champagny. Champagny. Um, can you guys tell me how to? Do, does anyone know how to pronounce his name? Champagny to a two way contract. I had no. I have no idea. I have no idea who this is. I'm gonna be honest with you, but we are gonna go and look at stats. Um, where's Primo at these days? Any info? I have. I have no clue. I, I have. He's out the league just like Brent Forbes. I I don't know if Primo, Champ Sham, wait what? Champagne Poppy? Oh oh, you're messing with me. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. All right. So here we go. So the San Antonio Spurs picked him up. Uh, he was waived by the 76ers. And as we can see here, Champagne played college uh, basketball at St. Jones. And 2019-2022. Okay, so he's he's a brand new, but this is why I don't know him. Uh, where he averaged 19.2 points, 6.6 rebounds, and two assists his junior year. Thanks for subscribing. Um, he went undrafted in 2022 before signing a two-way contract with the 76ers, where he averaged four. Okay, in the G League, I was about to say, I was like, what? I don't remember seeing him at all. Okay, 14.3 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.9 assists in 18 G League games. Uh, he joins Dominic Barlow as the Spurs' other two-way player. Beautiful. All right. So what do we know about him? I know absolutely nothing about him, but we are going to look at stats because I love me some stats. So let's see. Uh, has he played at all this game this season? He has not. He only played two games. Okay. There's no information on him. I have no idea who he is, but this is what I'm going to do. All right. Let me go ahead and watch this video really quick. Uh, just, just bear with me. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right, bear with me. Let me see. Let's see here, cause I I I, I have no idea. Let's see. If you, do you think if we get a top five pick in this coming draft, uh, we'll be a playoff team? Uh, next season? I don't know about that. Let's see. All right, I'm watching some right now. All right, looks like he has a really nice catch and shoot. Okay, this this is doing nothing for me. All right, I'm very irritated now. All right, let's get out of this. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna look him up college stats that's what matters that's the only thing we can go off of at this point and we're also going to look up Julian Champagne. Uh, this is frustrating because i literally went through so many different draft prospects and he is not someone that came up um yeah as far as will we be a playoff team i don't think so uh yeah, I don't think so. All right, so let's see. All right, all right. So that was in the article as well. He averaged 19.2 points, uh, 1.1 blocks, two two steals. Oh, okay, that's actually really impressive. Uh, 78% field free throw percentage. So any percentage that we see over here, we can at least insinuate that it can improve um, because he can't shoot his free throws. Um, but moving on down. Uh, three point percentage 33, which is about 34 percent. Not bad. Uh, field goal percentage 41. Uh, not not too great. Um, let's see. Minutes played 34 minutes. So he played a stupid amount of minutes. Uh, another thing as well. Let's see. Jeremy Sohan playing on NBA Rising Stars game on TNT. Don't worry, I got it up. Let's see. All right. Let's see. We're going to learn a little bit about him, okay? All right. Overall score, 88. Uh, this is pre-draft when they posted this. All right, so let's go ahead and read through. So here's some of his strengths. A smooth, moving, prolific scorer who averaged nearly 20 points per game in his final two seasons at St. Jones. Great size on the wing and just under 6'7 barefoot. Oh, wait. That's actually that's actually pretty nice. What, what, posi what position is he? He's a forward. He's a small forward. Got it. Okay. Uh, good strength and solid frame, terrific off ball movement, can catch and shoot with limitless range on the move and in spot ups, utilizes solid pump fakes to get his defender in the air. Okay, so he sounds pretty crafty. Uh, decent shooting mechanics that doesn't need too much tweaking, allowing him to start working to improve immediately, capable of scoring on the outside and attacking the rim, but his interior scoring package. All right, so overall, as far as scoring, he can get it done. Sounds like he's more so uh, a role player if that 
Um, but yeah, that's it. Weakness. Uh, isn't a terrific athlete and can struggle defensively against the elite NBA wings he'll be matched up against. Foot speed isn't the, isn't isn't the greatest. His strength is the only athletic component of his game that shouldn't let him down as he makes the jump from Big East to the pros. He he actually I don't know I mean just from the description he sounds a little bit like, um, uh, Keldon like just just a little bit I don't know I mean bad defensively. Uh, but his strength is the, the thing that he's pretty, uh, uh, good at as far as his athletic ability. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I would say, well, Keldon is a better three point shooter, but as of late, not really. So doesn't have terrific upside and most likely projects as no more than a 15, 20 minute per game role player in his prime. Jeez, that is rough. It's a rough way of putting it. Uh, can settle for outside shots a little too often in isolations. Okay, he's nothing like Keldon. Uh, relied on his size and length offensively, which won't fly at the next level. All right, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna have to keep an eye on this one. Um, but yeah, just wanted to bring it to your attention that the San Antonio Spurs did pick up this bad boy uh, right here. So uh, I don't know much about him, but I'll keep my eye out. And if there's anything that stands out, I'll definitely do. Uh, more vids on them so yeah